What's up guys? Here we are back with another Monday Night Recap. I'm Chris Gonzalez. And I'm Anthony Coleman. And here's a look at last week's scores. Christian Moore takes on Lake Brantley 21-14 to improve to 91 on the season. This makes for the seventh straight win. East Ridge suffers another turf loss. They stand at the hands of Mary Island losing 14-42. East Ridge finishes the season 6-4 and 4-2 and and in district games. Winter Park took down Olympia 26-12 in a game between two playoff bound teams. Jonathan Griffin Hurd of Winter Park had a huge game with three interceptions, setting up two touchdowns. Dr. Phillips had the way against Evans in a game they won 48-9. Emar Hogan had two rushing touchdowns, and Marvin Washington posted 139 yards passing and 77 yards rushing, leading the Class 8A District 5 champs Dr. Phillips to victory. The Panthers will host Manatee in the opening round of the playoffs. Edge Water gets shut down, gets shut out again this season. This time by the hands of Boone, zero to 44. All ten of Edge Water's losses this season have been by at least 20 points. The university had their highest scoring game of the season, winning 29 to 28 against Lake Nona. It was also the university's only win of the season. Lake Highland Prep, Prep, Blue past Trinity Prep 50 to 10 to finish off the season seven and three. Trinity Prep finishes one and eight. And Haggerty beat Timber Creek in a close one, 28 to 21. Both teams made the playoffs this year. Timber Creek finishes 7-3, and Haggerty finishes 9-1. West Orange throws an incomplete pass on a failed two-point conversion late in the fourth quarter to give Okoye a slim 31-29 victory. Okoye snaps a six-game losing streak with the win. Wakaiba seniors went out with a bang on Friday, where on senior night demolishing the East Ridge 48-14. Wakaiba's last game will be this Friday against Winter Park. South Lake won their, finally get their final game of the year over Tavares 31-14. The Eagles put up 270 yards rushing and 107 passing yards. Coco defeated Rockledge 56-14. Coco will now prepare for their playoff run. And we'll be right back with highlights of the Leesburg Lake Mineola game after a quick break. Welcome back guys. Friday night's matchup between Leesburg and Lake Mineola saw both teams coming in with just one win in the books. Lake Mineola will play host to the Yellow Jackets of Leesburg as both teams are looking to close out the season strong. Leesburg will control the first quarter, including a nice 75-yard touchdown pass to give them a slight 73 lead at the end of the quarter. The second quarter will remain the same on Leesburg. They will find the end zone two more times, but Lake Mineola will try to stay in it with one touchdown of their own. Leesburg were in the first half, leading 21 to 10. The Hawks then outscored the Yellow Jackets 13 to 7 in the second half, but Leesburg comes up with the win 29 to 23. Thank you for joining us again today, guys. We'll see you all on Wednesday.